Hey everybody, Lord Gamalf here. This is mission four on DMD mode with turbo mode on. Here we go. Listen back on my mission three commentary. It was actually pretty funny. <laughs> I actually kind of enjoy just listening back on it. I think you guys will like it if you already haven't watched it. Hi dudes, of course I just break all the orbs here again, like usual, nothing new. But just make sure you have everything, because sometimes, I, I think there's one time I actually missed something in this room. It's probably the, the one here, I'm guessing, I don't know. Just double checking, because you got plenty of time here, I think you got what? 31 minutes? I don't know. Like, if you fail with 31 minutes and you're not playing for leaderboards, that's sad, seriously. I, I don't know what to say to you. But that's only if you're going for the triple S. If you're playing for fun and you're dying, well, okay, man, that could be different, but. Anyways, get the orbs up here. Or over here. I always get these two mixed up sometimes. This hat and that time was a mix up. And now we're gonna fight uh, everybody's uh, favorite asshole, known as uh, the Blitz. But we gotta go through some Frost and Scarecrow first, so let's deal with them. Now watch, this guy here, he could shoot at you sometimes, so be careful. He didn't do it that time, so. There we go, nice uppercut, that's what I want. Whoa! Didn't expect that counter attack. What a joke. Get out of my face. No. No, I'm not playing this. Oh, I guess you can catch them in the middle of they're starting it, but it's a little hard to do. Okay. Ah, refreeze? Okay. Boy, oh boy, freaking Frost for being generous lately. I like that. Oh, here we go. Time for everyone's favorite motherfucking asshole, Blitz. I hate these things, especially with Dante. Especially if you're a Royal Guard fanatic. It's so easy to mess up. Okay, anyways, this is what I do for this. Get him near the middle. There. Jump up, grab him like this. Wait, and he hits like that? You'll shoot him up, grab him again, jump up, grab him again, shoot him like that. Right when his back hits the ground, that's when you want to fire, because then he won't go flying back. Then when he falls, he pretty, pretty much will be dead, and you win. There you go. They're not bad once you get used to them, but besides that, Whatever, I guess. Through the door. I had admit, overall, the special edition is actually not too bad. For me, I didn't play the PC version because my PC is pretty crap, to be honest. So, a lot of the things that people already played, I actually missed out on. So, um, modes like Legendary Dark Knight mode and Turbo mode, I never got to experience those modes. So, when I played this for the first time, it was pretty refreshing, actually. It actually made going through all this stuff actually kind of worth it again for me. If you never, ever played, like, on Turbo, I mean, if you played Turbo mode already and you did Legendary Dark Knight mode, I could see why you wouldn't want to play as Nero and Dachi again, because... It's nothing new, and it doesn't offer anything to the, new to the table, so I get it. For me, it was worth it. Besides the stupid-ass autosave and a couple other glitches that I've encountered with this game, this version's not too bad. This loading's a little slow, but manageable, I guess. Uh, what did I want to do here? Yeah, I guess you could start back here again. hope I'm doing this right. Okay. Mina Mercury, blah blah blah, whatever. Okay. 
There's nothing here. You can break these two if you want. It doesn't really matter, honestly. Yeah, so this is what I do. I go through this door right here. We go to what is it? The dining room? All right. Uh, I'm trying to do something here. It's a little hard to do. Uh, see, I want to keep my charge shot in the middle of the cutscene while having my sprint. It's a little hard to hit the start button on the PlayStation controller, or PlayStation 4 controller, while doing all this. No, no, I'm not playing this. Fuck you and your shield slapping. There we go. Dead. Good, that worked. One thing I'm going to give a little tip of advice to people is with the knights, yes, you can buster them to break their shield quicker, but you need to remember every time you buster their shield, I don't think you make points doing that. I think you only make points if you shoot them with your gun or you slice them with your sword. So if you're a point fanatic, try to refrain from doing that. Unless you just want to break their shield quicker and save some time. That's kind of why I did it. Because I just wanted to get it over with. But, this case I didn't do it, but I did it on my mission 3, so, yeah. This is easy and straightforward. If you played this game enough, I shouldn't have to explain this. Oh, I hate when it does that, but whatever. It's all good. Okay. Let your charge shot build up here. Not that it matters. I don't think the fight starts right away. I think it starts when you walk a few steps. Well, let's see. Oh yeah, see? Walk a few steps, there, they appear. All right, start with these big scarecrows. These things are just, uh, I'm still trying to get used to caliber on turbo mode. It's really just weird, I don't know. Let's see if I can do it again. Ah, okay, so you gotta go sooner, okay. There, build that up. This corner can be useful for keeping things off your camera and doing... Eh, I think I'll get a little fancy. Why not? No. Oh, who wants to play that, eh? I don't. There. Get out of my face. No. Is there another one around here somewhere? Ah, uh, he might be on the right side of the camera. I can't tell. Don't mind if I'm changing it up. Trying to get just a little more interesting. See if I can do it here. There we go. Big scarecrows are pretty easy to fight. The thing is, is make sure they're knocked down when they're on their camera angle. <sighs> that was bad. Because if you don't, then they'll start spamming shit all over the place and you don't want that. The move I hate the most from them, especially with Nero, is when they start uh, jump rolling to you and they keep trying to keep a lock on on you. That move can be very difficult to dodge. And as you see, I'm trying to prevent it. This guy's already devil triggered, really? <sighs> okay, this guy's a problem. Uh, is he gonna die? Okay. What probably happened is I probably killed the one on the right here that spawned, because I think there's three of them that spawn and I killed him before him and ignored him and he spawned sooner so since he spawned sooner than him and I let him live longer he must have devil triggered that's probably what happened I hate those things in devil trigger because they're much harder to lift and you really gotta beat them up but then again buster solves all that problem if you just want to get quick damage and them uh, Okay, a lot of people just tend to throw this thing down the hallway, but if you want more points, I don't advise doing it. I like fighting everything the legit way. I like to be a man when I fight, as much as possible. Not a chicken shit. I used to be one of those really humongous chicken shit players back in the day, where I would just stay back from everything and just charge everything like a noob. Because the truth is, I was... I was a good defensive player back then, but I wasn't a good 
offensive player, like going after the enemy. And that's the reason, honestly, why some of my leaderboard scores were kind of low, because I would just use a lot of safe tactics, and I wouldn't use like a lot of things that were uh, like in your face, I'm gonna be aggressive. But the downside about that is you, you don't get as good time on some fights. So things don't go so well. If I was to like do leaderboards now with some of the offensive strategies that I use, <clears throat> I could do a lot better, without a doubt. These things are such a joke. I'm not even playing that great right now. I'm still owning them. Okay, I don't know where the other guy is, so I'm gonna pull this guy in to make sure the combo don't break. Okay, I think we're good now. You wanna die next? Come here, I'll make your wish come true. Oh yeah, nice. EX Caliber. That does a lot of damage if you can get it off. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. A little tip in leaderboards that helps a bit, if anybody's curious, is I, I, something I've been studying for a while. I might have seen someone else do this, I don't know. Is I bring this down. Okay, and a lot of people just tend to carry this down, right? And reveal the other one. But the thing is, when you go through the door and you don't place this thing on the switch at first, it only acknowledges just two there and three there. And I think this one gets placed back to where it was it originally spawned. But if you put it here and register it here, then these three stay here. So if you take this one out and go back through the door after respawning that one, this one here will reappear back here instead. So you don't have to travel back as much. I just do it there. I don't know. It's like a bad habit. You know, those bad leader reward habits and shit you get. Where you're so used to doing it one way and not another, but. And then I take these two back at the same time and go from there. But at first I get rid of these guys because killing these guys with a decom was just not worth it. Maximum bit is better at a highlighter against multiple targets. Like right there, I mean, I should have waited a bit, but if you can do uh, manual charges there with your EX and you have time to get one gauge up because you couldn't fully maximum bet, do it if you can. Like right there is a good opportunity, so I went for it. Like here, maximum bet will probably work good, like I thought. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah, I think we're okay, yeah. Better watch this guy doesn't decide to leg kick me, so. Wow, that thing's still there. Holy shit, after all that chaos. Okay, lift this guy in the air. Ooh. Fuck it off. Can't believe he actually lived against that. Bring him here. Kill him. I don't know much to say right now, guys, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. For the live commentary, or not live commentary, I mean, uh, this live streaming, which I was talking about, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for that yet, or if I'm even going to do it, because there's, I've got some personal information on PlayStation I kind of don't really want people to see. So, and when I do streams, I think people might get to see it. The, the main viewers and people that watch it, I trust you guys. But it's random people that come into the stream that could come in on Twitch. I don't really want those people to see that. So I'm not sure if I'm going to stream that unless I find a solution to that. Because I just, I don't like that personally. Some people don't mind being completely exploited through their real name and shit, but I don't really want people to know that information. I'm sorry, guys. Just, that's just the way I am. In this time of digital age, you gotta be really cautious with some shit, because once people start exploiting you, it can it can make your life a living nightmare, seriously. Like, I look at a lot of people's streams and how many randoms go on it. Like, I watch someone...